Hey there. Today we'll have a look at a pen that was lent to me by Fonte Plumo. Uh, and uh, it's an interesting pen because it's from a brand I haven't reviewed that many pens of. So it recently came out, came in this box. Box slides out, cardboard thing. Box Montegrappa. Hey, okay. I like this flap because it allows you to open the box quite easily. The pen's not in here. Uh, it's that new Fortuna Mosaico. Um, nice little uh, booklet, filling instructions, uh, folds open on all sides. Um, yeah, filling instructions, warranty, etc. Cartridges with Montegrappa on there in silver. It's cute detail, I, I kind of like that. I think, yeah, that is all that is to be found in the box. Now, I kind of like this box because it has an interesting feel to it and that, that texture is definitely interesting. So, I, I kind of enjoy this. Okay, the Fortuna Mosaico. And this is the Mosaico, um, I'm not going to keep saying Mosaico. It's very annoying, even to myself. That's saying a lot. Um, this is the Fortuna and they came out in, in three new colors, a sort of a turquoise, a white, and this is the uh, Marrakesh, which is blue. When I think of Marrakesh, I don't immediately think of blue, but there's mosaics in the city that are sort of in this color. Now, I haven't been to Marrakesh, so that's probably why I didn't think of that blue. As I said, uh, loaned, lent, lent to me uh, by uh, Funk, thank you, uh, it's coming back to you after this. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start at the very top of the pen. A little finial. It's very bright here, so I'm trying to not make this reflect. 1912. Uh, it has, uh, uh, I think it's some um, uh, laurel, and it has a little sort of a Greek key. All related to Monte Grappa's history, of course. Um, we have this, this cap. I like the material. It's uh, it's it's um, a bright, fun color. Center band, center band says uh, Monte Grappa. Nothing on the back, and then we have the uh, the, the barrel. That I think is quite nice. And at the bottom of the barrel, there's nothing. The cap unscrews. Clip is very tight. I can barely make this move. But it does have one of those little Monte Grappa wheels, uh, which, to be honest, uh, barely moves. So, let's try this. It works. I fear this can rip off a shirt pocket, though, because that's definitely a very, very tight clip. Okay. Looking at the section. Same material as the barrel and cap, I always like that. There's a, uh, the metal threads right there. Uh, and then there is the, the nib, uh, which has some nice scroll work on it. Uh, and it says Montegrappa and F for fine. And it has that, that scroll work is actually the same pattern that's on the box. That's a nice consistency. It even, you even see it on the cardboard outer box. So I think that's, that's definitely nice. Barrel screws off, and then you have a screw-in converter. I always like screw-in converters because they just come out a little less easily by accident. And then on the converter it says Monte Grappa again. So nice eye for detail. What do I think about the pen? What do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, I recently tried the uh, Monte Grappa Mule. Uh, at this point, I don't know if that review is going to go up first, but in any case, I tried that and that nib was very, very dry, to a point where it hardly wrote. And that I've, I've reviewed an Espressione long time ago, also Monte Grappa, that was also a pretty dry nib. Um, so I was a little scared of trying this, especially in fine, but I have to admit, it's a nice, rich, well-flowing nib. However, it's also extremely feedbacky, which is also something I seem to recall from the Espressione. Why? Don't know. Probably something you can smooth out yourself if you feel like it. In any case, most important thing is, even though there's a lot of feedback, 
the pen does write, and it writes very well. As I said, nice, rich ink flow, and I appreciate that. I like the size of the pen. It's not huge, but by all means, big enough to comfortably use unposted, even if you have larger hands. Not an ultra-wide section, which in itself is very slightly barrel-shaped, but it works. And the section is relatively long, so there is enough for me to hold on to. If you want to, you can also post it. The pen becomes quite heavy because of all the, the big metal ring and, and such, but you can do that and you would have a pretty normally sized posted fountain pen, I would say. The material is really nice. You should really check out the turquoise. I think that's a, another beautiful finish. And the white one is nice too, but of the three, I think my personal preference would be the, the turquoise. I think that's a, a very, uh, very, pleasant color. But I like this blue too. There is a little bit of marbling to it, there is some depth uh, to it. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a nice finish. Things I don't like so much. Well, I would prefer a nib that has a little bit less feedback, because this really is quite a bit of feedback. Uh, but of course there may be people who enjoy such a thing. I mean, it's not... It's strange, because it's not scratchy, it's not unpleasant, you just really feel a lot of resistance on the paper. But it's not a, an annoying scratch, it's, it's just part of the nib, I suppose. My biggest issue uh, is one of the finish, uh, and I'll try to show you. This is where the barrel ends, and this has pretty much not been polished. So this ring, although it's smooth, so I guess in that regard it has been polished, but it has not been rounded off. And if you take out the section, these threads remain, the metal threads, they're in the barrel, but this ridge is really sharp. Uh, you're not going to accidentally uh, cut yourself on this, but it is very sharp, and I find that unpleasantly sharp. So if they could round that off a little bit, I think that would be more pleasant to use this pen. Having said that, I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. The, the tolerances are tight, it all looks good, it, it, it writes, this wrote straight out of the box. Probably the best Pontigrapa writing experience I have had. And I have not used dozens of their pens, but this is the, uh, I think, third, third or fourth monograph I've used in my life. And this one has written the best out of the box. Price, 210 euros. That is at Fonto Plumo. Uh, of course, uh, there's a discount code to Fonto Plumo on my website, so you can always utilize that if you want one after seeing this review. And that's all there's to it. Is it worth 210 euros? Steel nib, cartridge converter, um, it does write, no, no doubts there. Acrylic body, steel nib, cartridge converter. I think it's pushing a little bit price-wise. Um, because, I mean, if you look at something, like I've, I've just put it away, but if you... Oh, it is here. I just shot my review of this pen. Uh, Conklin All-American. Doesn't underperform the Montegrappa. 8250. Uh, so you uh, also euros, not not dollars. So you should ask yourself, is this pen really worth it? I guess it is. It's a fun color, but I mean, the Conklin also has a nice acrylic, also has a steel nib, also has a cartridge converter, also has a converter that screws in. I don't know. I find this very pricey for what it is. Having said that, I still think it's an interesting pen, and I'm sure it will appeal to some people. Especially if these are, you know, this is a city that, that you have a bond with, be it Marrakesh or Rome or the other one. I forgot which one was. Um, but I can see it would appeal to people. It is a bit slimmer than the uh, Conklin All American, for example. That might appeal to some people. It's well made. So there you have that. Measurements of the pen, as well as high resolution pictures, can be found on the website, sbrebrown.com. Frank, thank you for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. We need to do a writing sample. That's coming up next. I hope this was useful so far. And I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Monte Grappa 
Fortuna Mosaico Marrakesh. I'm not going to write that down. It's just too much. The nib is fine. There's definitely quite some feedback uh, as you write with this. It's, I mean, ink flow is good enough. It's on the wet side, I find. Even if you write very quickly, the flow keeps up very well with your writing, so <clears throat> that's not the issue. It is fairly wet, I would say, especially given that this is a fine nib. Line variation. Definitely some line variation. Um, but, as I said, for me the issue is the feedback. It's really quite feedbacking. In fact, I may find it smoother in the reverse writing position, but as you can see, it runs dry. So you can't do this for very long. And that's all there's to it. So, Funk, thank you for lending me the pen. I appreciate it. Hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later.